Hello everyone, Uncle Tech here. In this video, I'm going to show replacement of upper oil pan on the Peru Dua My V2006. Oil has been leaking slowly from this upper section as seen in the video. You could just reseal it if the upper oil pan is still in good condition. For me, I had to replace mine because I cracked the oil pan while attempting to remove it. So anyway, DIY on my right, let's go! This rubber holder for the exhaust is a bit hard to remove, especially if the rubber already in very hardened condition. One way I found that is easier is to spray it with some silicone spray and use hose pick. After removing the rubber holder, insert the hose bracket back into it. This is to hold the exhaust so that it doesn't fall off completely when you unbolt the front part. For the exhaust, we only need to remove these two bolts. You can spray some penetrating oil to make it easier for the bolts to be removed. The next part is important, that is removing the lower engine mount bracket. Make sure to have something supporting the transmission so that it does not have too much tension from being dangling which can cause it to fall down. For me, I put a couple of jack stand like this. This is the engine mount bracket that I am referring to. Actually, this doesn't really need to be removed. I removed it so that I have more space to work as I am doing other things on this car and also easier to make video too. Next is to remove all the bolts surrounding the oil pan. Thank you. 
very important not to forget there are two more bolts hidden behind these two holes. I broke my oil pan because I did not know there are two more such bolts here that need to be removed. You need to use extension or long 10mm wrench to remove them. One of the bolt is blocked by the transmission nut which make it impossible to remove it without moving this nut out of the way. The way to move the transmission nut is by turning the crank pulley clockwise. Remember to always turn crank pulleys clockwise only. After removing the last two bolts, the upper oil pan can be removed by prying slowly on the side. Make sure to be careful prying as it is made of aluminium that can be easily scratched. As usual, always clean whatever parts possible, which is why my DIY work always taking so long. This is a quick unboxing of the replacement used upper oil pan. The replacement oil pan need to be cleaned first. Here, I am dipping the oil pan in a solution commonly used around here. It is called Tong Ajai, which translates to magic bucket. It is a solution comprises of diesel, washing powder detergent, degreaser and water. Putting high temp gasket maker on the oil pan before installing.
Take note to apply some gasket maker on the seams of where metal contacts. These are places that are prone to leakage. These 10 mm bolts and nuts are to be tightened at 11 newton meter. Do not over torque them as they are prone to break. The 10 mm bolts and nuts at the lower oil pans are also tightened at 11 Newton meter. With the oil pans done, reinstall the rest of the parts that was dismantled, the exhaust, the engine mount bracket and the wheels. Conclusion: This oil pan is not easy to remove as there are a few caveats such as the two hidden bolts and the removal of some major components. Make sure to install back the bolts in proper torque or else it will leak again. Do not over tighten the bolts as they are easily stripped. Remember to refill the engine oil and make sure nothing is leaking. As always, if you appreciate my video, please click on the like button and subscribe. Until next time, stay healthy, stay safe, Uncle Deck out.